the CIA allegedly involved in retrieving materials from UFO crash sites. According to a new media report based on anonymous sources, the CIA has been running UFO retrieval missions for years. It was not that long ago that claims of secretive government programs involving UFOs would have been dismissed out of hand as conspiratorial nonsense. Yet in recent years, we've seen everything from the launching of a new Pentagon UFO office to the official release of video clips showing unknown objects being pursued by U.S. Navy pilots off the coast of the United States. Clearly someone or something is frequenting our skies. The question remains who or what. And now according to a new article published on the Mail Online, anonymous government sources have reportedly come forward to claim that the CIA's Office of Global Access, OGA, which is part of the agency's Science and Technology Directorate, has been playing a pivotal role in the retrieval of materials from alleged UFO crash sites for years. The article cites three separate anonymous sources who maintain that the U.S. military has attended the crash sites of at least nine non-human craft over the period of several decades. There's at least nine vehicles. There were different circumstances for different ones, one of the sources told Mail Online. It has to do with the physical condition they are in. If it crashes, there's a lot of damage done. Others, two of them, are completely intact. One of the CIA's office's roles, the source said, is to enable the U.S. military to access crash sites in places that would otherwise be out of bounds, such as behind enemy lines in other countries. They are basically a facilitator for people to get in and out of countries, the source said. They are very clever at being able to get anywhere in the world they want to. Given that these three sources remain anonymous, however, it's impossible to corroborate any of their claims. This is from Mail Online, and it's on Unexplained Mysteries by T.K. Randall. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.